Hey guys, early morning paint job. Got the compressor running. So let's paint a deck. Time to get quacking. Okay. First step, white. Gotta do a little primer, base coat slash thing on there. <sighs> Enough, probably not, maybe, who knows. Works. One small problem. I have to call this Duck Lieutenant Dan because he ain't got no legs. There they are. All right, gonna have to change his name. He's got his legs. Uh, pretty much done all the priming that I'm gonna do on him. Had a lot of extra primer, so I got a few of these little hornets that I'm gonna make. Hey, check those out. So I just primed those up instead of dumping the paint down the sink. Doing my bit for the environment. My next color is going to be yellow. If you've ever seen pictures of a baby mallard, they are not just yellow. Although the world's going to tell you, baby ducks are yellow. They're not just yellow. They got yellow. They got a little bit of brown on them. So... Let that dry. Another blast. Get up those old, uh, right up the quack. <laughs> Next, one of my favorite colors actually is brush bronze. A little spot there was a little blotch of water. And I'll touch that up after. And now the bill on these little buggers. Oh, the top of the head actually has a brown stripe on it too. The bill is brown. He's got a stripe over the top of his head like that. All right, see this little wee paintbrush? Pretty small. I'm going to do some licorice black for the eyeballs. This is where a little blood sugar in the morning or whatever doesn't help. Can you tell I'm concentrating? Now, I tip it down. Can you guys even see the tip down? I'll tip that duck down so that the paint does not run. I'm going to hit three little spots on the beak. I'm going to zoom back in on us here and give you guys a little wider perspective on this. So, just a little... A little bit of a highlight right there. A little tip on the tip of the beak. And the same on this side. Alright. We're going to be flipping upside down. I'll write a little message on his belly. Oh, well, you see that? It's a little getting any 23. Clear coat. Alright, time to do a little mixing of some clear coat. 
So I'm gonna use True Glide. And I've done 50-50, but it does never turn it quite right. Ugh. So I'm looking for just brush it all on. Fine True Glide works really well, however, it's a little thick. Uh, best way to thin that sucker down a little is to heat that. Do some duck flambe here. I don't do it directly with a lighter because if you use a lighter, it just leaves little black swirlies. So I can see the clear foot starting to run. That means I got lots of heat on there. Thins it out really well, it allows it to kind of goop all over. So I just give her a little flash with some heat. And then that also works to get rid of any little bubbles. Now I just make sure to pull this around. I look for any spots that may be bare, even though you've guaranteed yourself, you've got it all covered, you didn't, you'll miss a spot. I go over it a couple of times. I'll do this clear coat. Probably two layers on this one. All right, there's some hooks. So I uh, feather the hooks myself. So what do I use? Uh, you catch a turkey trespassing. So you take some of his feathers when you peel him, save some. Oh, what else? And I had some yellow in there too. So just crafting feathers. <sighs> Disappointment. Caffeine hasn't totally touched down in the brain. I forgot to show the install of the feet. I'll explain it. There's a little feet right and left side. Go on. Little bead. Stop it from falling off when I bend the where, where I bend the wear so it doesn't fall off. And then this these things spin. The duck, 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 big pipe. All that stuff. Um, you guys are interested in trying to get a hold of one of these you could probably find one through a website called gettingannyoutdoors.com or if you live in north bay ontario area we could uh catch up and i'll go here and you go here and we'll uh, come to an agreement so if you guys just like watching stuff like this be made subscribe to the channel that'd be awesome so until next time thanks for watching thanks for supporting awesome guys Woo.